hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, December 31st, 2016, the last day of a nine year, a year that brought a lot of completions, endings, transformation, tomorrow, a one day of a one year, of a one month. So your message for today is this. The body does not cause false beliefs and emotions. Rather, false beliefs and emotions cause the illusion of the body. And again, that's from my, um, my hypnotherapy teacher, owner of the Institute of Interpersonal Hypnotherapy in Florida, Tampa, Florida, Matthew Brownstein. He's got several books out, and that's from his Sutras of Healing book. Um, he's got Sacred Geometry book. Um, so check him out. A couple cool books that I'm reading through, part of my work. So let's look at um, some cards and numbers for today and tomorrow. So today, all the numbers add up to seven. So that's a very metaphysical, mystical, research, solitude kind of a number. It's got that power, that, that energy that goes with it. And Lenormand to go along with that energy for today is the star card, 16, which is seven. I pulled this exact card for today two days ago. So there's definitely something about this card for today. It's a it's 16, which boils down to seven, which echoes the day, the number. But also that is about following your guidance. It's about hope. It's about success. And, and you know, so many people today, I mean, it's so funny because I, I just naturally do it. It's like, Year's coming to an end. Let's plan for next year. It's like you, intuit you intuitively know and you feel the energy of, wow, well, let's, let's think about all of next year. I'm a big fan of not doing New Year's resolutions because as a personal trainer, I always used to say to people, oh, if you're ready to start a diet on Monday, no, start it right now. If it's worth starting next week, next year, you know, in a month, start it right now. But there's something about rolling over to the new year and the transition and the change of the energy that I think goes along with it. So I forgot. But let me pull the tar tarot card to go along with that. So judgment card. Um, and I pulled five of wands the other day. So stars... The star card and the judgment card. The judgment card is about being freed from the stuff that's been holding you back. Once again, beautiful card for the last day of a nine year. Nine almost is, is embodied in the judgment card for me because it's like, ta-da, the grave is open, you walk out. It's you're free from the change, you're ready to move forward. Again, a dynamic one day. So really sit today thinking about what's going on metaphysically, spiritually, you know, do your research, analyze, look over everything. We're still in Mercury retrograde, so it's a great time to do that because it's like today there'll be some releasing um, and, you know, probably going to be a lot of releasing tonight, New Year's Eve. So tomorrow, it's a one day that's dynamic, moving, innovative, leadership, go, masculine principle. It's a one year, 2017, seven plus one plus zero plus two equals 10, which is one. So it's a one year. All the numbers for tomorrow add up to three, which is creative expression, um, positivity, um, speaking your truth, it's playful, it's optimism. So all this beautiful energy starting tomorrow. And as you, I can feel it as I just start talking about it because as a psychic intuitive person, I tap into that energy. I put myself there and I'm like, whew, it feels so good. Lenormand to go along with tomorrow's energy, the mice card. These stubborn little mice have been popping up quite a bit lately. This is the one, two, three, fourth time in about the last week. That can be worry, frustration, because let's think about it. With the ending of things, there, there does come some worry and frustration and wondering what's coming back. There's fear, there's hidden things that you just don't know about. So I can see why that would pop up for tomorrow because a lot of people, it's like, I thought I was ready, but I'm not. And then some people are opening the door tomorrow morning and they're like, oh my gosh, look what's ahead of me. I got to do something. It's a one day, a one month, a one year. You know, I need to be optimistic. And then Tara to go along with that mice card is going to be Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is often about a review. You look back, you look to the past, you real analyze, you're a little melancholy, you're thinking. Um, there's some other words I can't think of right now <laughs> when you review, you know, all these things. And that makes sense. So I would say for tomorrow, stay optimistic with that three energy once you start doing some analyzing. Because a lot of people are going to, again, wake up tomorrow morning, it's a Sunday, and you're going to look back because it's the first day of the new year. And you're going to start doing that. <gasps> where, did, where did the time go? You know. You know, I keep hearing people saying, oh, 2016 was a horrible year. Well, so is giving birth. <laughs> All right. I can only imagine what it's like because I said this to somebody in a post. They said, oh, 2016 was a horrible year. Do you think 2017 is going to be any better? And I said, well, 2016, 
I don't look at it as a horrible year. It was a year, and I said, can you imagine what it's like for that baby inside the mama's womb? And all of a sudden, the world starts shifting and changing, and there's this pressure and this, this frustration. And then all of a sudden, you hear this screaming and yelling and people yelling you, telling you something to breathe, and, and there's lights, and there might even be drugs involved, and, you know, and then all of a sudden, pff, the bottom falls out and your warm little water world is just sucked out and then you're boom, thrust out this hole into this shivering cold not 98.6 degree world being held spanked cut <laughs> you know all this stuff yeah 2016 was a pretty powerful year because that's what it felt like to me birth and boom we're giving we're stepping out into the world tomorrow and next year is all about the birth you know the cutting of the cord. Well, we just did all that. <laughs> we, we cut the cord. Next year is all about, you know, sucking at mama's teat. Next year is all about, you know, formula and growth and, you know, starting to crawl and walk and our eyes adjusting and everything. So that's what, that's what it felt like to me. You know, not negative and awful and bad, but a moment to get out of the womb and into the next cycle. So, Wow, there was your message. God, can you tell I'm tapped into the energy of next year? <laughs> Already there. So check out my website if you feel led. If you do purchase a full spread now, I think today the price, you still can buy the discounted price today, but if you purchase it tomorrow or the next day, I'll still do for you for January through the next year. One card per month with the follow-up card for guidance. Um, the new moon spread, if you want to grab it, we had happened two days ago, but you, can, you still got a few days to work through that. But any of my spreads... And in person and um, phone, Skype, FaceTime sessions, just check it all out. It's all automatic. You just do it and I get it back to you. Or we meet in person or on the phone at the scheduled time. So namaste. Have an amazing day. Happy, happy new year to you. Be safe, prepared for what's coming. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful year. Namaste. Bye-bye. <laughs>